as you can see there are lots of people here to meet their favorite skippers at the Transat and it wouldn't be right if we didn't speak to them so I'm going to ask the public a few questions let's find a spectator who's willing to talk hopefully I can find this young lady looks nice doesn't she excuse me Hello. Bonjour. Uh, who's your favorite skipper? Uh, François Gavard, bien sûr. Michel Desjoyaux. Vincent Rioux. François Gavard. Il, il est trop fort, quoi. Tanguy de la Motte. Michel Desjoyaux. Arnaud Boissière. Grand Gabard. Uh, François Gabard. My favorite skipper is uh, Stam. Tanguy de la Motte. He works for a good association. Would you be able to be alone at sea? Oh no, not alone. No. Uh, no. Non, pas tout seul, non. Ah uh, no. Oh no. You know, sometimes they, they sail their boat alone for two or three months. I say, how can they survive? <laughs> it's too long to be alone. Skippers are very special people because uh, they are very strong. Must be very tough. Must be very tough. When the skippers are sleeping, how do you think the boat carries on? They sleep? Par satellite? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Par uh, satellite ordinateur. With uh, electronics. Uh, electric pilot. Autopilot. So this is some kind of uh, hydraulic ram which is connected with the autopilot computer. Those two units that are uh, connected with the main frame of electronic system and with information about the wind, direction of the wind, speed of the wind, um, current and all of this. The autopilot can keep the course we, we set up before we went to sleep. One thing is for sure from all the people that we have spoken to, there's still a lot to learn about offshore sailing. But one thing that they do have in common is they are cheering on those skippers every inch of the way. They're inspirations to all of us.